my first encounter with the power of God. Mm. I was uh, four years old, mm. and, uh, and I lived in Austria in Innsbruck, which was yeah, uh, Innsbruck, yeah. a railroad uh, uh, crossing, mm. and they wanted, of course, to destroy that, you know, so that the trains couldn't go anymore. Mm. But because we were in the middle of mountains, here mountains, here mountains, they they hit everything else but the but the railroad. Mm. So uh, my mother was tired of sitting in bomb shelters mm. and nothing is happening, you know. I mean, just wait because there was false alarm. Mm. So I remember I was playing with my with my daughter and she was ironing and my little brother was sleeping in a bed, he was one year old, mm. and uh, the sirens came, you know, ee, ee, mm. very loud, warning mm. people to get into shelters. I said, Mama, are we going in our bomb shelter? Because we lived in a house with eight apartments and we had in the basement a small bomb shelter, oh. which was maybe four by four meters. Mm. And there was also a sign on the outside of the house so that people were, that were walking on the road could mm. see, uh, they could come also into this shelter, you know. Okay. So I heard this siren and I said, Mama, are we going in a bomb shelter? She said, no. Only when we hear the bombs falling ourselves. Mm -hmm. At that very moment she said that the whole windows burst from the air pressure, mm. the bombs were falling. Okay. So she pulled out the iron from the board, mm -hmm. you know, the, the, the plug. Mm -hmm. She grabbed my little brother, she grabbed me and we ran down. We, we were lay, uh, living on the ground floor, mm -hmm. so we didn't have much. But the people came screaming from the street outside mm. into that room. <coughs> and uh, there it was a small room, and in the front, there was a thick, this thick, mm. big wind, like this length window mm. of, but this thick of okay. metal, pure iron. Mm. That was still on the upper, I mean, the, the level of the ground was here, and that was still in the air, you mm. know, outside. Mm. So we were halfway in the ground. Of this yes. And, uh, and the people were screaming about their children, you know, they were concerned because it was such a shock mm -hmm. uh, uh, attack. Mm. And, uh, in the corner of that room, there was a shelf, mm -hmm. and of course, all the Roman Catholics, so they had little Madonnas and crosses and babies uh, in the crib mm. there. My mother moved with my brother in this very corner, mm -hmm. and she helped me too. She always told me, you need to be close to me. We are all going together to heaven. Oh. <laughs> and I don't leave you as my as orphans. Okay. Okay. So she moved in the very back, and the people were screaming, and she screamed over the whole group, there were about 30 people there, oh. stop screaming, let's pray. Mm -hmm. Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven. heaven. And, the, and it was like peace fell down on them. Mm -hmm. They all moved into this corner with my mother. Mm -hmm. They all prayed the Lord's Prayer together. Mm -hmm. And when they said, Amen, a bomb hit right outside, and this window fell into the room. I can still see it. Oh, the memory. Fell, fell into the room and everybody would have been dead under this window. It was this thick iron. Nobody was hit because they were all in the corner with them. And I knew for the first time God hears prayer. Okay. God performs miracles. Okay. God is protecting us. Amen. Amen. And Amen. that was the foundation of my faith. Oh, that was the foundation of your yes. faith. How old were you? I was four years. Four years. Four years. Like our daughter here. Yeah. Oh, they, they, where is she now? She, she she's to going pussy to the mm. uh, The pussy cat, okay. Mm. No, but, but this was the, a foundation that was, couldn't be shaken for the rest mm. of my life. I knew that I knew God is there when you call him, mm -hmm. and God hears prayers. He and performs God miracles. And performs miracles. <coughs> and there was a peace, I tell you, everyone was shocked with the protection that we experienced. Mm. And we walked up those steps, and, and you know, the one thing also, you know, I, I couldn't take my door down to the basement. Mm, mm. My whole concern was if my door, if yeah. my baby <laughs> survived that attack. You are so, concerned about your door. <laughs> yeah. So I was always mm -hmm. a mother in my heart. I think I was born as a mother. We, 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 we tried to trap that in, in your book. Yeah. You never mentioned it, yeah. but we tried as much as to track yeah. that thing of mother yeah, in you. It has been there have... since yeah, childhood. Yeah, there's a lot of things. Mm -hmm. My mother <coughs> was the oldest of four children. 
Okay. And uh, <coughs> Mariana. Mariana. Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm. And uh, and she had a brother who was mentally sick. Okay. And he was in a in a mental disease home, and she begged her to please, if he could get out and live with the family, you know. Mm. And she he did. She accepted it, and he did. Mm. He came, and uh, and. When, and you know, when he had bad headaches, the only thing that helped him was alcohol. Mm. And he begged my grandmother then, I didn't know her, never knew her, mm. uh, to uh, please uh, give her money, give him money for alcohol. Okay. And she said, no, honey, no, alcohol no. Okay. And he got so angry that he shot her to death. <clears throat> and she died. And so my mother was the oldest, seven years, there were already three more siblings. So there were four children, she was seven. Okay. And the father, her father, which was my grandfather, was so upset and so confused about this whole situation that he became an alcoholic. Okay. And he was never the family anymore. So my mother had to take care when she was seven with the siblings. And I remember to the death of my two uncles and my, my, my uh, uh, aunt, mm. they called my mother mommy. Oh, her siblings called her I think that's a wonderful fact we never picked in the book. Yeah, yeah. She she wants to bring out something to do like the mother was parenting, parenting and mothering yeah. did she not start it. with her. No, she picked it from, from the mother. mother. But let me tell you, my mother treated me very well as a child, as a child, okay. until I was seven. Mm. Uh -huh. Then she dropped me like a hot potato. And I became responsible for my brothers and sisters. Mm. Even they were not behaving, I got to spank him. Oh. I tell you, I became a mother. Oh, okay. seven. Seven. I took care of them. And you know, I, I, I had to do the homework with them. I, she sent me to the teachers to ask how they do how they are doing she it. Does. I mean her childhood stuff. We need the facts. You understand? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Her childhood. So she did the same thing with me. Okay. Since I was seven, I was responsible for other people. Okay. And that, that's when I became a mother for my brother okay, and sister. Okay, my okay. younger sister, she is nine years younger than me. And of course, I was, for her, I was the worst mother, you know, because mm -hmm. I was already mm -hmm. older. And she said, she lives in America, and I called her one time, and I said, honey, I'm so happy about the good relationship we have. Mm -hmm. She said, finally, you stop being my mother. <laughs> I said, wait a minute, I never was your mother. Mm -hmm. She told me a list. Of things. Of things where yeah. I acted like her mother. Because that's what my mother asked me to do with my siblings. Okay. You know? Okay. You, you found this pussycat? Huh? 